I love that the two hens are sharing motherhood. <laughs> They're so tiny. Hey guys, we will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. Please subscribe. What's up, my boy squad? How are you doing? Did you sleep well? I hope so. My boy squad, I just got out of the pool. Sorry. But you guys won't believe what I'm looking at right now. Do you see them? Do you see them? They're so cute. <gasps> guys. A couple of the eggs have hatched. Look at them! And these two have been sitting on the eggs for like ever. And you know what? Today was the 30th day. I was going to totally like throw the eggs away. I thought like they weren't fertilized and that they were rotten. And guys, they hatched. It, the, the baby's like pecking the mom's eye. It looks like they are chicks of the silkies. Because they look like the silky mom. See the blue? Oh my goodness, they are so cute. They're so cute. There are more eggs. Uh, maybe they will just continue to hatch over time. Let's go in there. Oh my gosh, they are so cute. Hi guys. Welcome to the Mabu High Squad farmhouse. Let's go in the nest. Let's see. Oh my gosh, they're all hatching. Are they? What's that black stuff? Hi there. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> They're so tiny. I think these are going to hatch too. Am I allowed to touch them? Oh my goodness. Are any of them hatching yet? So they're probably going to continue hatching today because there was only one and now there are two. Guys, I'm surrounded by chicken, like, chicken beauty right now. <laughs> Look at them. I love that the two hens are sharing motherhood. This hen is sitting on more eggs, so we'll see. I was gonna, like I said, I was going to throw the eggs away because I read that it takes 21 days from the moment she starts sitting on the eggs before they hatch. Oh my gosh, look at how many. Okay, what's going on here? Guys, chill, chill. Okay, look at how many are there. Okay. Okay, I'm not gonna touch those. I mean, I'm not gonna throw them away, rather, because they m might just hatch. Oh my goodness. This is crazy, guys. They're so cute. Good morning, Mabuhai squad. How are you doing? Did you sleep well? I hope so. Guys, I'm here in the um, chicken coop. The two chicks are there. There's one there and one there. And I put this little cap full of water because I don't know if they're drinking from like that. But you guys have some water if you want to have a drink. Are any of your eggs fertilized? I wonder. Guys, I'm surrounded by chickens clucking. <laughs> you guys make me laugh. I wonder if any of the chicks will hatch later today. This one was lost. Go. There you go. Go ahead. There you go. <laughs> Back with mama. Hi there. Guys, this is Eve. There's Adam way down there. Hi, Adam. He's eating some breakfast. And then up here, guys, is Magnus. That's his new favorite spot. It's not that branch anymore. It used to be that branch way down there. Now he loves this one. Hi Magnus. Is this your new chilling spot? You like it here? <laughs> this is Magnus, our blue green iguana. Gorgeous, gorgeous lizard. And guys, they've completed our fence. See? We have a fence going all the way down now. You should see what the front of this fence looks like. It looks really, really nice. And then as you saw in the last vlog, we have our plant nursery fully built now. Random cage here, in case we have any animals that need an enclosure. This is our movable gate. Here, I'll show you. See, it's finished. Our grass has been planted, the frog grass. See, 
Doesn't it look cute? So cute. Yay. I'm so happy we have a front fence now. So cool. So guys, in case you're new, this side lot is for our farming activities. See, we got our planters ready to go. We still gotta figure out what we're gonna plant. We actually might wait for my mom to come in May because she wants to, she wants to work on this. My mom is a total gardener. So these are all ready for veggies and herbs to be planted. Look, we've got a lot of them actually. See, lots. We've got even more on this side. See, lots already. Oh, here's something I never showed you guys. We have papaya. Did you know we have a papaya tree? And actually more planted over there, but I'll show you that after. And some papaya fruits growing. Yay! Papaya is so healthy. Hello, vitamin A. And very easy to grow here in the Philippines, papaya. Um, it looks like we've got more planted here. Still establishing. See, the leaves are kind of wilting, but it will establish. This will survive and create some awesome papaya fruit. See here too? Here, all in this area. So good. Um, this here was recently planted. It's establishing right now. It's um, Drysena, huge plant. It's RJ planted it here to cover some of the wires that go up to the lights on the tree. Actually in this area, um, we want to create like a picnic area here. So we're just gonna lay out like a bunch of tiles and then maybe have a nice picnic table out here. Oh my gosh, in the forest guys is the most beautiful yellow bird. It's called a black-naped oriole. Do you see it? So beautiful. The black-naped orioles are back. Oh, there's several there. Oh, gosh, so nice. It's native and it's just a very pretty bird. Oh, there's several in the forest right now. I see three. Or no, wait, that's a leaf. Never mind. <laughs> I see two. It's hard to tell. You see, their their color is good camouflage. They look like leaves. Okay, I do see th Mabuhai High Squad. It's two, right? And the other yellow things are just leaves. Okay. So guys, these massive trees all around the property and around our house is awesome. Well, people here call it acacia, but it's... The, its English name is rain tree. Now there are two trees that are called rain tree. One is toxic and the other is this species, which is not toxic. And in fact, it's quite nutritious. A lot of our animals eat it, including our goats. The parrots love chewing on the leaves. Our chickens will eat the leaves, um, the bunnies and guinea pigs. So basically we've got a lot of free animal food, very healthy. But one of the great things about this tree is it lets out these cool like pods that look like beans and the animals love them, especially the goats. Our goats love to eat this. I think it's like really sour or sweet, but yeah, our animals love it. Let's give some to the skinny pigs. Here guys. Mmm. <laughs> guys, guinea pigs are so messy. Look at the mess. And we clean this every day. They're not like bunnies. Bunnies are a bit easier to clean up after. You guys are messy, but you're so cute. These are our skinny pigs. Look at this one. It's part skin, part fur. We adopted these skinny pigs from one of you Mabuhai squad. And we love giving them a home. <laughs> Hi guys. The parrots are having breakfast. It's like a breakfast mix and seeds. <laughs> but these seeds are from yesterday. A lot of their breakfast is served in these bowls. It's just easier to clean up after. There are bowls attached there and several feeding stations so that the birds don't quarrel. Hi guys. Yes. Hi. There are the pheasants. The red golden pheasants and this male. Look at the color. <gasps> it's coming in. Yay. These birds were given to us um, as a gift from Sir Alan Tan from Iloilo and his family. And it's been a dream of mine to have red golden pheasants. Wait till you guys see the male's final form. 
Honestly, one of the most beautiful birds ever. Hi there. The birds love all of this sun. So I'm glad we finally have a fence all around the property here because every now and then I would catch like stray dogs wandering into this area. I would also catch chickens, like our neighbor's chickens. One time I was in the bedroom looking at this side lot and I saw a chicken running loose. And I'm like, hey, I guess our chickens are, are they let out our chickens. <laughs> but no, it was our neighbors. Why did the chicken cross the road to get to our chickens? It's funny, some hens were coming here because maybe they could hear our rooster and they wanted to mate with him. I'm like, wow, our silky rooster's a stud. We got like hens coming from up from abroad <laughs> to check him out. But yeah, so I'm I'm glad we have this now to block outside animals from coming in. Uh, and guys, I wish you could feel it. It's such a beautiful breezy day. Not too hot, not too cold. I mean, it's never cold in the Philippines, but it can get cool, especially in the mornings. Ooh, what is this plant? I have to ask RJ what this is. It's like starting to climb. It's gonna vine. All right. Let's see if it'll survive the parrots. <laughs> Sweet. We got our calamansi growing. Love it. I know this here is garlic vine. Um, we planted this as an anti-snake measure. Um, and it grows, it, sh it should be climbing, but it's, cli it's leaning the wrong way. Over there, over there. That's the wall. I really love the look of this calamansi. Homegrown and organic. This is lavender, I believe. Love the smell of lavender. Also as an anti-snake measure. Oh guys, this here is miracle berry. You know this? So if you eat this, it does some chemical reaction to your tongue so that after eating this, anything sour tastes sweet. So if you chew this and then suck on a lemon, it won't be sour, it'll be sweet. It's so interesting, this berry. They call it the miracle berry. Gorgeous day. We'll be swimming later. I love swimming. And you know what? I also love napping. I've been doing it every day. Just sitting in the sun here on this outdoor lounge chair and listening to a podcast and falling asleep. There's something about it I love. So my routine is usually I'll do 35 minutes of sauna, then I'll swim and then nap in the sun and I could just it's hard to explain but it feels so good I think the blast of vitamin d3 like the sunlight is good for your health um, you know it's good for mood stabilization I feel happy <laughs> um, it's also good for sleep I sleep soundly at night being in the Sun it's something that I've kind of like not prioritized, but I'm starting to now and I can really feel the difference. So this is my new napping spot. In my speedos. Guys, check out this vining plant, which we, by the way, need to string across this um, pergola here. Look at the beautiful flowers that are coming out. So nice. Beautiful flowers. More here. So cool. I love it. Such a pretty, pretty flower. All right, guys, so this here is the birthday cake of our dog, Cypher. As you might have seen in a previous vlog, it was his birthday, and this cake has been in the fridge. We've been feeding it to the small dogs over the past couple of days, and now it's time for the big dogs to have a piece of cake. Yes, this for you guys. Okay, wait. Now I'm just gonna give them a little bit because the rest I'm gonna feed to our chickens, um, and it's made of uh, human grade ingredients so dogs can eat it it's good quality it's from Alaga Manila for those of you in uh, the Philippines that want to give your dogs <laughs> something healthy for their birthday all right let's put it in there we go Rizal's loving his oh and he's taking it to his bed here Brittany here's yours here ready here here Brittany no? Hey guys, Brittany doesn't like it. Oh no, she's taking some to her bed. Rizal loves his. There's more. All right, so Rizal really loved it. Brittany, not so much. But the chickens will love this, for sure. Oh, chickens, yes. 
my little dinosaurs. I've got a treat for you guys. Mm-hmm. Yes, here. It's so yummy. Here you go. You got blueberries. Go. Go ahead. Blueberry. Here, you have a blueberry. Mmm. Here. Try this. Rooster. Go ahead. Eat it. This is all really healthy. You want to try? You want? Here. Oh, you just stepped on it. It's on your foot. Here. Here. I'll give you some. Here. Yum. I'll just... I'll just leave it right here and you guys can eat on your own. Go. So it looks like the eggs in that nest still haven't really hatched. Um, I don't know if any of these are gonna hatch but I'll just leave them. Not gonna eat them, not gonna throw them away yet because you just never know. Okay, they're inspecting it. Go. Trust me, you guys will love it. <laughs> they don't know what to make of it. <laughs> Guys, I threw some. Let's see if they'll eat it. That chicken seems like it's interested. Go. Yep. Mmm. <laughs> and the little ones are want to imitate. Go, yeah, eat it. That's edible and healthy. <laughs> they like, they peck at the chicken's eyes. It's so hilarious. Yep, go. Go imitate. <laughs> Oh, go ahead. Okay, so they're eating that piece, good. Here you go, here's another piece. Here. Mmm, go eat that, yep. She's eating. I guess like when the babies see that the chickens are eating it, they will all go and eat it. Yum. We should name our chickens, seriously. These ones anyway, that we won't be killing. What should we name this rooster? I swear, those chicks are so cute. They're like pecking. Okay, here. Here's more of the cake. <laughs> they can hardly stand. Follow, follow this chicken, yep, go. I love how they do like shared parenting. Like it's, there's not one fixed mom. Sometimes they follow the silky mom their biological mom, and then sometimes they follow these, like, native chickens. There. Have some more. Go. Uh, there they go. Here. Go. There they go. Mmm. Yummy cake. <laughs> oh, boy. And the chicks seem bigger than yesterday. Like, it seems like they're growing pretty fast. And they're learning quickly, just simply through imitation. The mom shows them what's okay to eat, how to scratch through the ground. <laughs> They're adorable. Okay, rooster, you're in the way. <laughs> They're eating the blueberries. I just caught that one nibbling on blueberry. And let's hope they eat all those little bits. I don't want it to lay around because I don't want to attract ants. So I hope they eat all the little bits, but it looks like the moms are eating it, getting nutrition. And so is the rooster. Very good. Your plumage is looking really healthy, Mr. Rooster. There we go. Eating from the cake. Yay. Go, go, go. It's delicious. Promise. <laughs> Birds are sl so slow to trust. But once they get going, all right. It's the best. Mmm. <laughs> so I'm going to let them eat that cake. I've been trying to think, guys. Like... Eventually, we'll need to kill our chickens. Sorry, I shouldn't say that so loud. We'll need to, like, eat some. Like, that's also part of the reason we have chickens. For eggs, um, to eat scraps, right? And then also to possibly eat. Like, maybe when the females, the hens, have reached the end of their, like, laying egg laying period like maybe that's the right time to make some tinola and adobo i don't know what do you guys think because like we eat meat anyway here um rj and i love our meat 
Uh, but isn't that the whole goal to eat like meat that you've reared yourself and you know doesn't have any hormones or chemicals, you know, organic meats? See so you guys, for dinner, we're gonna have burgers. This is obviously it's from the it's from the grocery, but uh, imagine we could just make our own. That would be pretty awesome, right? Like chicken burgers or like chicken sandwiches grilled. Guys, check it out. <laughs> Guys, we're on the Argentinian grill making burgers. And wow, talong. Mmm, sarap. Yep, yeah, with bagoong. Oh, but you're gonna eat it with bagoong. Oh, it looks so good and it smells so good. I can smell it from like upstairs in the end room, guys. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy. <gasps> oh my gosh, guys. Yum. Oh my gosh, guys. I love Burger Day. So, RJ and I and the entire team were all having burgers. Mmm. Mmm. Freshly grilled burgers. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. So flavorful. The pickles are so healthy. So is mustard. Did you guys know mustard's healthy? Mmm. 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 I wish we had lettuce, but this will do. Mabuhay's got this burger. Five Mabuhay stars. <laughs> Hi squad, good morning. It's like 4 a.m. in the morning, just woke up, and I'm here shooting in the anteroom. And um, I was just hanging out with my sugar gliders, and look, I believe she might be pregnant. I see two, see those two bumps on each side of Honey's like belly? I think she just might be pregnant with babies. Now, for those of you who are new to sugar gliders, sugar gliders are um, marsupials, which means they have a pouch like a kangaroo. Um, so if we start seeing little baby heads popping out of that pouch, we'll know that she's pregnant. But yeah, I totally see those two bumps. Sugar gliders have twins, usually. Can you see those two bumps? See? See them? Ah, sugar, you might be a dad. Um, and then eventually we will have to neuter him. We can't just have them reproduce uncontrollably. But they are social animals, so they're like, they live in colonies. So it'll be quite nice to have a couple more sugar gliders in here. And again, we'll have to neuter all males. Guys, see, she's totally pregnant, I think. <gasps> oh, what a miracle. So beautiful. Congrats, you two. Ah, gorgeous morning. Good morning, dogs. Time to let these two out. Okay, wait. Sit. Good dogs, go. <laughs> there they go. At this time, all the birds are up because they're hungry. See, the parrots are there. They're waiting for breakfast, which is coming. Don't worry, it's coming. The pheasants are up, also waiting for breakfast. Listen to them. The bunnies, also waiting for breakfast. Good morning, chickens. <laughs> so cute. Yes, good morning, rooster. Okay, guys, so it looks like some of the eggs that were out of the nest broke, and now that the chickens are eating it, which I guess is good. It's, uh, they can eat, recycle the nutrients that are lost. Oh, I think like the chicken stepped on it. So I don't know what to do, like these two chickens are 
warming up these eggs, but there's like one egg here now. What happened to the others that were in here? I'm so confused. Wow, look at him eat that egg. He's even eating the shell. That's good calcium. Guys, at the LC cooked mongo, which is mung beans. This is our typical Filipino mung bean porridge with, is that sweet potato leaves? Talbos? Alugbate it's called. Oh, alugbate, which is, um, it's a type of like, isn't it in the nightshade family? Anyways, it's a very common Filipino vegetable. And look, oh, and also, one thing RJ pointed out is that on the, the day we met, right, the next morning, RJ cooked me breakfast and he cooked me like curry pancit, curry noodles, and it was in this, this exact container. I can't believe we still have it. This thing is like 12 years old. Oh, good memories in this container. It was the meal that made me fall in love. <laughs> Oh guys, listen, it's cicada season. Do you guys hear that? Oh, the cicadas are out again. Oh guys, look who else is back. The blue bees. Wait, they're all over here. Hang on. There, see them? Blue bees. See? Wait. Okay, never mind. It's really windy, so it's hard to film them. I'll come back and film them in another vlog. But they are so cool to see. Love them. Oh, remember the platform I was talking about? I guess that's where it'll be. All right. Guys, I swear, those chicks are so cute. Hi there. Don't be scared. One of them is really light. The other has like mixed. So there's the light one and there's the one with brown patches. <gasps> Guys, look. This is Sahara. Cypher's way down there. This is nap time afternoon nap time yes sahara this is when i kiss them too mm. 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 guys it's criminal how often i kiss these dogs <laughs> the dogs have actually been losing weight ever since we switched to feeding them just one time a day before it used to be two times a day and um also we switched to a higher quality highly recommended kibble um, recommended by our vet and all supplemented of course with a little bit of people food but they've been losing weight yes yay good because they were overweight for the longest time right Saifs? <laughs> as for me I just finished 35 minutes of sauna and my afternoon nap by the pool I feel great. I'm ready to continue working uh, because today, which is Friday, I woke up early, did more work, and from here on in this afternoon all the way till like either Saturday night or Sunday, I will be right in front of that computer working, editing the next Ant Canada video. But guys, I love work. I love working. It's so great. You know the last Ants Canada video, last week's video, it's doing so well! <gasps> it's at like number three of our past 10 uploads. Um, still increasing in views, last I checked, as of now it's like at 1.7 million. That's crazy to me uh, in just over four days. So thank you AC family for the support and I honestly love that all of you guys appreciate animals as much as I do. Animal love, right guys? All right, grounding, barefoot, love that. I wanted to show you the bees, I see them, they're back. Do you see it? There, hold on. It's visiting flower by flower, see? See it's blue? See it? Isn't that cool? Awesome, right? Now the thing I learned about these blue bees is they're solitary they don't belong to a colony they are just single bees that live or live and buzz around collecting nectar from the flowers and um they mate like males mate with females and they just create more solitary bees isn't that cool and guys the water is getting warmer yay i think it's about 28 degrees celsius um 
at the heat of the summer, the water gets to be as high as 34 degrees Celsius. 34! So it's like nice and warm. And literally when you're swimming in this pool in the summer, it just, you do not feel the water. It just feels like you're floating the best. And it's at those days when I'm in the water for an hour or more, <laughs> up to four hours in the day till my fingers are wrinkly. But, uh, but yeah, oh, it's so good that the water is starting to warm up. It's so refreshing. I was just in here for maybe 10, 15 minutes after the sauna. And it's just so relaxing and so refreshing. I love looking at our forest. Love our forest. Love the trees. Love all of nature. Nature is good for well-being, for the mind, for your health, right? They say the trees omit they emit this um, chemical, I forget what it's called, I should memorize this, phyto something, phytokinine, something like that, which increase your natural killer cells, your white blood cells that are in charge of killing cancerous cells and cells infected by viruses. Um, so spending time in a forest or close to a forest and breathing in those phyto, phyto whatever they're called, chemicals, is good for you. It's anti-cancer. And apparently, those chemicals are at their peak after it rains. So going out during a rainstorm or after it rains, so healthy for you. Just breathe in that fresh air, guys. Breathe it in. Yes, vitamin D3. Bathe me with your UV light. Love it. Guys, I've noticed that <laughs> I'm in my self-care era. I'm in my early 40s, right? Um, even though I don't feel like it, it still feels like I'm in my 30s and like a big part of me still feels like I'm in my 20s. Like my late 20s cosplaying my 30s but I'm really in my 40s. But anyways, um, I feel like I'm in my self-care era because for a lot of my adult life, I like abused my body guys. I don't think I, you guys know like, I can't believe I've stopped drinking. Like I've pretty much reduced my drinking, my alcohol drinking because as soon as I hit like 18, 19, guys, I was a lush. I was a typical, typical Canadian, like drinking at every gathering, looking for every excuse to get a buzz, get my buzz on and be social with all my friends who are also buzzed. I don't know, like enough to say that I've lived life. I enjoyed those times. Um, of course, I my diet choices on and off were okay but gosh i ate a lot of junk food um for many years here in the philippines i had fast food every day you know like rj and i for the whole time that we were together rj didn't really cook because i didn't have a proper kitchen in my condo so we just ordered out and a lot of times it was just so much easier to order fast food so you know for years, I ate tons of fast food. So nutrients-wise, didn't eat the most healthy food. So, you know, all those years, I was just really abusing my body, guys. Also, was a workaholic. Obviously, I was a workaholic for my whole, like, social media career. Being up editing videos, because I ran three channels. Was also touring, and, you know, it was just really a bad scene self-abuse that's what it was so now <laughs> that RJ and I are living a little more comfortably almost semi-retired I'm in my self-care era now eating nutrient-dense food only um, of course eating dessert too only drinking like the rare occasion when I know I'm gonna make some good memories and even then like when I'm offered the opportunity to drink alcohol I'm like do I really want to spend the next two days in bed? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not worth it. So yeah, I've realized I'm in my self-care era now. Strange, maybe it's all part of growing up. Um, I prioritize sleep now, before I didn't. Like, before I didn't care. You want to go out? I'm game. I will go out with you till like four or five in the morning and drink. <laughs> yeah, things have changed drastically and you know what I think it was after pandemic I think 
pandemic changed me in a lot of ways. I'm sure it's changed a lot of you guys out there in a lot of ways. I just realized, like, what's important in life? I realized, you know, health is important. Working myself on, like, two, three hours of sleep is not worth it. Drinking, you know, half a bottle of vodka <laughs> and being hung over the next day is just not worth it. I don't know. Yeah, it's a different era, guys. I go to the gym often. I'm in the best shape of my life. My body now is better than it was in my 20s. And yeah, it's all about, I guess, self-preservation now and maximizing my output at this age. And, you know, people think that once you hit 40 or like 50, God forbid, like the twilight years of life, I guess, that you're past your prime, that you can't possibly, you know, achieve more than you did or can in your 30s and 20s. But that's so not true, guys. <laughs> Let me tell you, I'm in my early 40s now and Ants Canada channel is doing better than it's ever done, better than any YouTube channel I've ever had right now. So like, right now is a prime. And I always thought, you know, my 30s were the prime. And before that, I thought my 20s were the prime. You know, through like the whole Canadian Idol thing experience that I had. For those of you who don't know, I was on Canadian Idol and I was a professional singer. Still, I'm still consider myself a professional singer. But yeah, it's almost like, guys, there is no peak. There is no prime. If you choose and want and continue to pursue, you will reach new primes. You will reach new heights um, in career, <laughs> in personal life, your physical health. As long as you keep striving, you will continue to reach new primes. There's no like glory years. You will continue to reach new primes, just new levels. But yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if when I reach my 60s, if I'm still saying this. <laughs> but I look at my dad, who, by the way, is in Manila right now, uh, chilling with his childhood friends in Kalaokan. Um, when I look at my dad, he's still, like, in his prime, living his best life. Like, he's healthy. He goes to the gym every day. And his own, he doesn't work anymore. He's retired. And, like... <laughs> Every day he wakes up and looks forward to exercising, hanging out with his child, childhood friends, who are also seniors in their 70s, um, and is just, you know, kind of worry-free. So, we'll see. We'll see, guys. We'll see. Guys, we're here in the anteroom, second floor. RJ's redesigning. He's stepping back. We're actually working on the roof deck, but we're not going to show it to you till it's done. But going back to what I say, RJ is also living his prime now, I, I believe. And he's in his self, self-preservation self era and well-being era too. I don't mean too many things going on, guys. RJ is criticizing my anteroom. He's like changing up the design. I love my, this is my man cave. I love the design. But yeah, so as I was saying, I feel like RJ is also working on his magnum opus, his greatest work which is this house. Like, to be honest, yeah, I made some decisions with this house and I conceptualized some of the things, like random things, like, I don't know, the net floor there, just random things, but most of this was RJ's work. It was RJ's doing, RJ's hard mulling over the detail. And RJ now is gonna be 39 soon, in March, 39. See, he worked on this all of late last night. But it looks really good. Yeah, he still has to paint some white parts here. See, those white parts. But it looks so cool. I like it. Nice, nice uh, addition. See, <laughs> he's constantly moving around furniture and testing ideas. I love that he's living his best life right now. He totally deserves it, and he's worked really, really, really hard. All right, guys, so I'm gonna slap a shirt on now because I need to work. I'm gonna be working on the next Ants Canada video. Check it out, uploading Saturday. 
um, or possibly Sunday if it's late, hopefully not. Um, but anyways, thank you so much for joining us once again on another adventure here at the Mabuhay Squad Farmhouse. I am so happy that we have our first chicks. Ooh, what a dream come true. Guys, for years, how long have I been talking about this in the vlogs, having chickens and, you know, them laying eggs and having chicks and all of that? It finally came true. I'm so happy um, you guys experienced that moment with us here at the farmhouse. Yay! Coming up, we have a lot of special guests. More guests. As you know, we've hosted already um, the Travises this year, right? The Travis family, you guys saw that vlog. If you haven't, go check it out. I love them. That's Judy, Benji, Judy and Benji Travis and their kids. And we hosted my family from Canada, right? My cousins and aunts, my tita and Karna, who's currently in another part of the Philippines. She'll be coming back um, soon, but we are hosting more guests. Yes, um, some from abroad, some from Canada, and um, of course my mom is coming, yay, in May. So I can't wait for all of that. So guys, do stay tuned for all the fun up ahead. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this vlog, as it helps us a lot to let YouTube know that, you know, our vlogs are worth sharing to new audiences. And if you haven't yet, do hit that subscribe button. Come join our Mabuhay squad, cause we will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. I will see you guys in the next vlog here at the Mabuhay Squad Farmhouse. Love you. Bye. Mm.